Hi everyone, welcome to another NRD Factory Tutes video. This is our first tips and tricks session. In this tutorial we're going to cover reflections. This will be split into three parts. How to put reflections on text, objects and images. So we're going to get straight into part one. Uh, firstly you want to grab some text. Once you've got that text we want to duplicate it. We're going to just Apple J and then we're going to Apple T to transform it and then we're going to control and click then we're going to flip that vertically, hold shift and then bring that down so that both of the bottoms are touching each other. Enter, great stuff. Now what we want to do, we want to click the mask tool here um, so go ahead and click that Then select your gradient tool make sure it's selected on uh, black to transparent and on um, linear um, get halfway in between the bottom text hold shift, click on the gradient and click up until you hit the bottom of the, the top text and that gives us a nice gradient there, important you hold shift. Drag that down so it's underneath the top um, text, okay? Then we want to bring the opacity of that down to 20%. Perfect. Okay, we want to create a new layer, so come down here, click new layer, then we want to select your gradient tool again, but this time we want a radar gradient. Halfway in between the text, making sure you're on your uh, new layer, hold shift and you want to just drag that out to your left just so it's just past the end of the, the word. Press Apple T to transform this, then we're going to shift and just bring that up. And that's going to create the shadow behind the text. Bring that down, holding shift to make sure it stays aligned with everything else. We're going to make that just a little bit smaller. Yeah, that looks about right. And then we're going to bring the opacity of that down to 20 also. Fantastic. Okay, so that looks great. You can see it close up. Fantastic. Right, now, um, we're going to look at objects now in part two. Um, we're going to be using a box. So I'm going to grab my box here. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to duplicate it. So I'm going to press Apple J, and that just duplicates that. Then I want to Apple T, Control, and then click on it, and then I'm going to flip this vertically. Great stuff. Okay, I want to duplicate it again, Apple J. And then with the top layer, I want to select my rectangle marquee, and I want to get this bend right here. Then I want to get it right on the bend, and then delete. Then with that marquee still selected, click on the layer below and then select inverse and then go ahead and click delete again. We now have two layers that we want to hold shift and select together. Okay, and now we want to bring those and drag them down. Hold shift still and drag those down just so that the points touch the points there. Let's zoom in so we can see that properly. Yep, great, I'm happy with that. Okay, so select the top layer, and we want an Apple T, we're gonna control, click, then we want to skew this. Holding shift, hold the corner, and just drag that up until the edges touch again. The same with the other section. <clears throat> Skew, holding shift. Making sure we bring that up. Yeah, fantastic. Okay, we're just going to hold shift and just bring those up a little bit more. Slightly out of line. Okay, so let's zoom out. So, what we want to do, we want to Group those, so Apple G, want to put the opacity of that down to 45%, like that, great. We want to put a gradient uh, mask on it, beg your pardon, so come down to the mask, click the mask, go onto your gradient, uh, make sure it's on that, and then hold from the bottom, holding shift, and just go almost to the top of where the, the other one starts, and that gives us a little fade there, great. Now, get that group and put it 
under the main box. Okay, so we can start to see our reflection putting together there. Now we want to put some shadows on it. So we want to we want to create a new layer to make some shadows underneath the box. So click here, and where you've got the new section, you want to grab your tool over here. We're going to click on this corner, right hand, left hand corner, beg your pardon, of the box. And we're going to click out to make sure that we have a nice line there. And we're going to fill that in a second with a gradient. So on this new layer, we're going to select the gradient, and then we're just going to fill about there. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing over here. So we want to click as if you've got the back section there and it comes up to around there. I'm going to do the exact same thing over here as well. So get your gradient. You just feel like that, perfect. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to get some um, blur going on on that. So we go to the Gaussian blur. I want to set the blur to three. Perfect. Okay, and then we want to bring the opacity down to eight. Yep, I'm just going to tidy up a bit of those corners. Get the erase tool. That's that. And then if we want to add some drop shadow. Right. Um, sorry, it looks like I've already got my drop shadow set here. So just make sure the opacity is set to 20, 23 actually that should be. There you go. Um, and uh, angle to 90, distance to 2, size to 5, and that's that part done. And there you have a, a nice looking uh, box uh, reflection. Okay, so there you can see it zoomed in. All right, fantastic. Okay, so now we're going to look at images on part three. I'm going to use a phone. Um, here you can see my phone. Um, right, firstly, to make the reflection on this, the first thing we're going to do is duplicate. So Apple J, and then Apple T to transform, and then Control, and then we're going to flip this vertically, simply drag it down, so that it touches the edge of the bottom. That looks good enough for me. Make sure that's put under the main layer here. Okay, now that we've got that, we're gonna to need to get out our pen tool. We're gonna to need to start drawing around the phone. So it's coming nice and close, great stuff. Look right there, we're gonna use some bezier curves. Right, that's about right. I'm only going to use half of this phone here, so we can come down to about here and then come straight across because we're not going to see that. Okay, now what we want to do is Apple T, Control, click, flip horizontally. Yep, that's okay, I'm happy with that. Now we want to bring that all the way down here so that it touches the edge of the phone. Okay, that's great. You want to tidy up around here a bit, so just get your marquee tool. We've selected on the uh, original uh, reflection on the bottom. Okay, that's great. Okay, so now we're going to start adding a bit of detail onto it. So go back to the original iPhone there, and we're going to duplicate that. So you want an Apple J. And what we're going to do, we're going to take this uh, little button there. So just select your marquee tool. Okay, select it like that. Okay, and then let's zoom back out. Select inverse and then delete. And then we want to Apple T, that selects our marquee tool there. We want to transform it. I flip it horizontally, then I'm going to flip it again vertically. 
Okay, then we want to drag that down, holding shift, making sure that it stays in line with the other one. That's quite important. Okay, I'm happy with that position. Now we've got this up here on this layer just above the original frame. We need that down. So bring that down um, uh, uh, just above the rest of the other um, reflected layers. Um, that's the button. Right, now we're going to create a new layer. Um, beg your pardon, we're going to duplicate this iPhone layer again. Um, so if we duplicate that, Apple J. Um, and then what we're going to do this time, we're going to steal the screen. So let's get our tool over there. And let's just quickly grab that. Okay. Great. And we're going to inverse that again, just like we did with the button. Inverse and then delete. Okay. Um, now we want an Apple T. Then we want to control, click, flip vertically, drag that down to about there. Then we want to skew, holding shift, making sure you're holding shift when you drag that down and when you skew. Okay, I'm happy with that. Enter. Now, let's just make sure they're all put in a group together. So we've put all those layers closely together, making sure that the main top layer is on the top of those layers and all the layers follow underneath. Okay, then those layers underneath, we want to um, hold shift and click on the bottom one and the top one and then group them together by clicking Apple G. Okay, we want to set the opacity to that one. <clears throat> so we're going to put the reflection at 20 percent yep yeah. now what we're going to do is well we're going to put a mask over that then put a gradient because now we're going to making sure we've put the mask over the group we're going to get the gradient hold shift down at the bottom and just up to around where the button is that gives us a nice little reflection if you want to just touch up a little bit over there as well okay now let's create some um, shadows so get your your top layer, your main um, iPhone, duplicate it, and then Apple T, and make that shrink all the way down to about there. This is going to create the bottom shadow, so Apple T, transform, we're going to move that so it's in line with the bottom, and then we're going to go over to image, adjustments, um, and then gradient map, great, that's what I want, and then we're going to go to filter, blur, we're going to go to motion blur, Make sure distance is set at 96. Okay for that. And we're just going to push that up a bit. There you go. So you can see it's coming together quite nicely. Get your eraser tool just to really clip out this section here and touch up a little bit there. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Now, last shadow, we want to get the, the main iPhone again. Duplicate it, Apple J. And then Apple T. Then control. And we want to distort this one this time. So bring this one down. I want it to go to about, about there. Okay, that looks cool there. And let me just bring this little section to there. Let's bring this back down there. Yeah, that looks about right. Okay, great stuff. So we do the same process that we did before. Adjustments, gradient map. Yep, so it makes that black. Filter, wanna put a Gaussian blur. Make sure that's that set of three. Okay, then we wanna um, put the opacity to 61. 61's probably gonna be too high. Let's try a six, there we go. All right, and let's just put a mask on that, finish this up, and click the gradient, just like that. And Bob's your uncle, there we have it. Okay, so there you can see the reflection for the phone. So those are a few quick examples of how to create reflections. I hope this tutorial has helped you and you found it interesting. Um, be sure to comment, like, um, and most importantly, subscribe. Uh, catch you on the next video.